It is the hit 90s show that's been revived and taken Saturday nights by storm. Tonight sees the grand final of this series of Gladiators. The reboot made its debut to an audience of more than 8 million in January and tonight the lycra clad contenders will be taking on tests of speed and strength as they aim to lift the trophy. Let's take a look at the show. It's exhausting just watching it, isn't it? Uh, let's speak to health coach and former gladiator known as, well, Jane Omarogby, but we know her as Rio. Hi to you, Rio. Thanks for joining us here on BBC News. Um, I think part of the reason this has been such a success is because it's almost unchanged from when you were on it back in the 1990s. What have you seen? What have you felt when you've watched it? God, it's been amazing. The first, the first show I sat on my sofa with my heart pounding, just like, oh, I can just remember what it feels like to be in the arena with the atmosphere, with the, it's just so electric. And yeah, right, you're right. It is the same show, the format's the same, but it's been revamped in such a magical way that this is perhaps arguably even better than ours. I think it's brilliant, utterly brilliant. And I love the way that it's, it's connecting with people that watched the show when they were kids. Um, and now they're on the show in Lycra as gladiators or as contenders. I mean, did you watch it in our show 30 years ago? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, totally. Absolutely, Rio. I remember it well. And I think you might have a little bit of uh, memorabilia with you. Am I right? I do. Got the pugil stick right here in front of me. <laughs> Do you remember this? I used to love this game. It would, Actually, I'll be quite honest with you. The first year, maybe two years, I won because I was terrified of getting hit and knocked off the podium. And the idea of falling sort of uncontrolled and not being able to decide how I was going to land, that kind of scared me a bit. We're so, just, we're just first... watching you, Rio. Just watching you. I Sorry, I, I should, do I call you Jane or call you Rio? Either. I don't mind. Okay. I'm sort of both people, really. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, it's pretty ferocious. Does it? Do you actually? Does it hurt? It did. Yes, one hundred percent. It did hurt very much, and I always felt so bad if I knew that I'd hurt somebody else. That it was a standing joke that I used to hit someone and go, "Sorry, <laughs> sorry," <laughs> because I didn't want to really damage anybody. But it was my job to to put them through their paces and to see if I could win. That was sort of the name of the game, really. But yeah, it did hurt. There were quite a few injuries. Now you but, had you quite know. you had quite a fascinating journey to becoming a gladiator. Just take us through it briefly. Um, well, in short, I was an ambulance driver based in Hastings, and uh, John Anderson contacted me through a modelling competition that I did, Miss United Kingdom, and asked me if I could try out for the gladiators, which I did. But at the time, even though I was strong and I was fit, I wasn't gladiator level because that's just another level entirely. So I got a coach, Tony Slaney, who lives in Peterborough, who's amazing. And I trained with him for six to eight months. And then I tried out again and I got in. But in that process, I'd given up my job, uh, sold everything that I had. And I just trained with Tony three times a day for, yeah, half a year, just to, in the hope that I would get through. 
And I think that's the, the magic of gladiators. You know, I don't know if you guys saw uh, Mary Louise up against um, Kerry in the semi-finals when Kerry had like a nine second lead and you'd think, oh, she's got it in the bag, but not giving up and just keep going, uh, believing in yourself, all of those things. That's also the magic behind the show. Yes, it's a game show. Yes, it's entertainment, but it's so much more than that. Oh, it, it certainly is. And, and the, the viewing figures, which have been extraordinary, absolutely a testament to that, that people this generation are loving it just as much as we did back in the 90s. Um, Rio, Jane, thank you so much for talking to us. Are you going to be watching tonight, the final? A hundred percent, absolutely. And I know that these, what is it, 8.3 million viewers that watch on average every single week, all of you just enjoy it, love it all. Um, and I've got to just say, I don't know if you know, but there's a... a glad pod that's been going for years and years and that has really helped keep the spirit of gladiators alive because it's been going on interviewing us interviewing other gladiators from other countries and i think that's what's helped this to have that extra kick really? it's been a brilliant brilliant journey we're out of time i i like to think that you'll be watching it with your pugil stick pugil stick by your side this Is evening that, yeah. <laughs> thank you so much for speaking to us bye-bye okay, <laughs> oh how lovely